Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I style my long, thick, heavy hair in a way that keeps some of the wave. Um, as I don't know about you, but for me, if I use a curling wand, it's just not going to stay. Um, so this is how I do it with minimal product and so yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoy. Please like, comment and subscribe. So I've just gotten out of the shower, I had my hair in a hair towel, just taken it down using some heat protectant. Um, I don't yet have a particular heat protectant that I am fond of. So I tend to go for whatever looks good. And then I gently brush that through. Strictly speaking, you shouldn't really brush your hair when it's wet, but I do it pretty gently. And with hair that's as long as mine, if I don't brush it through, I feel like the heat protectant isn't getting all over the hair. So, I'll show you in a second how long it is. There's still a lot of moisture left in this. Okay, this side I'm not doing quite as gently, but it is knottier. And the amount of hair that falls out of my head astounds me at times. Okay, just move my chair back. I'm gonna assume that you can see how long it is. I'm quite proud of the length of my hair. I just grabbed a towel because I want to squeeze out some of the water. dried my hair to maybe oh, that got ravelled rather tightly around my finger the top bit is really where I want to get dry I just want to dry it enough so that when I braid it the braid itself isn't super heavy on my head um, and then it feels like all the hair is being pulled out and it's not very comfortable to be honest um i might just squeeze it out again it's a, a ridiculous amount of water it gets into my hair i just brush my necklace i would use a rat tail comb for this but we get into fights so i don't I'm using up products at the moment that I have a backlog of. I'm not fond of them. They're almost impossible to get out of the hair. What the shampoo is almost impossible to get out of the hair. And oftentimes I give up, which is not good for the health of my hair. But we do what we gotta do. I think I pulled a little bit too hard then. Be gentle with your hair, people. Okay, so with my hair like pretty dry up here, almost bone dry up here, and then still quite wet in the length, I think I might dry that a little bit more. very good hair dryer compared to my usual one. That's a little bit better. Like I said, I just don't want the length of it to be too wet because then it 
wrinkles on the rest of it when I put it in the braids. Although I think I'll probably blow dry the braids today. Yeah, I'll blow dry the braids. Blow dry the braids because, well, I've got nothing better to do. And sometimes I blow dry, sometimes I just leave them to air dry. But I'm gonna straighten over the top of the braid. But I'm, mm, actually I have to get up ridiculously early tomorrow. So I will probably straighten over the top of the braid later. Alexa, what time is it? The time is 2.24 p.m. 2.24. blow dry the braids and then straighten over them in a couple of hours i'm just using a little hair bubble because that's what they're called not hair ties hair bubbles you can call it just a bubble if you want i do it's this proper name <laughs> I would like to say at this point, once you're watching me, that when I straighten over the top of the braids, I make sure that they are completely dry all the way through. I don't straighten over them when they are wet because that is not good for your hair. You need to burn your hair, fries it. Remember when there was that trend? where people would just straighten their wet hair to like save time because it dries it at the same time or put it in tin foil and then straighten it I think it was like five minute crafts or something like that that coined doing that don't recommend I've never done it I just would not recommend to do it this is not me saying to do it I needed to pinch a little bit of hair from there it makes the curl pattern go a bit strange but no one will notice okay another hair bubble i tend to use thinner ones braids thicker ones if I'm doing anything with, oh gosh, the whole of my hair. And then I'm gonna blow dry. I just need to quickly redo the braids, especially this one, the blow drying has a uh, loosened it my hair is still wet but i'm now going to allow the braids to air dry for a little while and then i will um straighten over the top of them i'll probably undo them check that they are fully dry and then you will fall over and disgrace me and then i will straighten over them but i will come back and talk you guys through what i do there it is now significantly later alexa what time is it the time is 7 p.m it's now 7 p.m and i need to be in bed early and these braids are not dried so we better do something about that i'm gonna blow dry them i think undo them and blow dry them let's see what where we're at and then i will re-dry re-braid and then i will straighten them so
now we be looking crazy but the hair is i'm pretty sure now dry um the reason why if you're wondering i choose to straighten over the top of the hair rather than leave it to dry is a time management kind of thing because i need to be up early tomorrow and if I was to just leave the braid, I'm not guaranteed that it will be dry in the morning. I don't know if anybody else's hair is like this, but mine takes forever to dry. I mean, when did I end filming these clips? The original point of these clips, like three. So it took three hours with having blown dried my hair at certain times for it to get even close to dry. So yeah that's why so if i was to sleep on it i'm not sure if the braids would come out and actually be dry i'm gonna re-braid one sec the straighteners are just heating up if you're wondering why I use straighteners instead of a curly wand, I don't know if I answered this already in one of the previous clips, but I'm also adding more heat protectant to my hair. But um, for some reason, the my hair will just literally drop the curl in seconds if I use a curly wand. But if I use straighteners, it will it will stay. I think it's because it cools down in the um, in the shape. So I need to get some product, and then I can use a curling wand. But I don't know what product to use. My hair is now really wet from the um, heat protectant, so I am gonna let the hair dry, and then I will be back and. Okay, so I'm going to just untangle the wire here. So I have the braid, I just take the straighteners, put them as close as possible, and just I don't pull them down the hair like you would if you were straightening your hair. I kind of move it from bump to bump, hold it on for a little while and then move it down a little bit, release and move down slightly. These are my cousin's straighteners. I don't really know what setting they're on, they're just on. <laughs> they're on and they're warm. I just continue going down like this and I might go over it a couple times and then well go on to the other side and then come back so they have now been straightened and they have cooled so I'm just going to show you the final um, product, final situation we're left with. Ordinarily, I would now leave these in until I wanted the hair um, style. So I would have left them overnight for today or um, if I was going out later on, I would leave them until then. But this is what it I... It's now the next day and this is what the hairstyle looks like. So the last clip ended kind of abruptly. I had to cut it off because the filming went really bad. Um, but this is kind of what it looks like. Um, I don't know how well. It's relaxed um, because I've had it. It's now the afternoon. I was in college 
this morning so and I had to get up ridiculously early as I think I mentioned so it's not exactly the way it looks when you first get it done but yeah I hope you liked today's video like comment subscribe and yeah I will catch you in the next one bye, -bye. this is a video I took a little bit later on it's relaxed like I said but yeah it gives you an idea thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next one